Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored Quick Looks video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Transformers Legacy Core Class G2 Universe Megatron. And this figure seems to be nothing more than a straight up repaint of the Kingdom Core Class Megatron that we got last year. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. He's in that new Core Class box with the plastic free window. Got some great art here on the top of Megatron in his tank mode. We got Megatron in robot mode right there. Transformers Legacy, G2 Universe Megatron with his G2 Decepticon symbol there. Transformers Hasbro, side of the box. Megatron is on the attack. Back in the packaging, we've got tank mode. Megatron once again in robot mode. And this side of the box is the legacy artwork we have seen before with Megatron, Dragstrip, Iguanus, Skywarp, and Kickback. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this mighty mini green Megatron all opened up and out of this packaging. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> New packaging, same product. Now, once you get Megatron all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. And on the back of the instructions is the QR code that you can scan to read Megatron's bio. So there's that right there for you. You also get a little green pistol and, of course, Megatron himself. And I was right. This figure is a straight-up repaint of Kingdom Megatron, but in the G2 colors. Now, real quick, just want to let you guys know that my Kingdom Megatron has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. So let's take a closer look at these two. Different paint applications looks really good. I like how Kingdom Megatron retains that shiny silver G1 look. And of course, the Legacy Megatron has the G2 look. He is missing his Decepticon G2 logo right there on the chest. And he really, he really doesn't have that many paint applications. He's got the blue splotches, the blue camo, or the purple camo rather. He's got some silver there for the waist, some orange buttons right there, purple fusion cannon, and really, that's about it. I mean, I don't know, he's kind of plain. I dig it, I like the fact we're getting more G2 figures, but this Megatron just seems to be lacking. I don't know what it is. Now, of course, he's got his little green pistol right here that you can put in his hand like so. If you recall, the original G2 Megatron came with a pistol, but it was black. Or you can put this on his back, peg it into the back right there. If I can find the hole, there we are. So he has the G2 or G1 Megatron look with the barrel over the shoulder, but G2 Megatron, he wielded a weapon, a rifle. So we'll put that in his hand. And I wish the fusion can, they could have done something with the fusion cannon. It's attached to his arm. I wish there was something to attach it on the shoulder. I'm sure one of my 3D printing buddies can fix that up. So yeah, there is the two Megatrons together. So now let's take a look at them in tank mode. Now in tank mode, G2 Megatron is a lot more colorful than the Kingdom version. But like I said, my Kingdom version does have some Toy Hacks decals to help improve his look. But the G2 really pops in tank mode. One thing I wish that I didn't really notice in robot mode is his pistol. I wish it was purple to match the fusion cannon right there to elongate the barrel more. 
because G2 Megatron had a purple barrel for the tank. I think that would add a lot more to this figure. He also has the G2 Decepticon logo right there, a little orange triangle, and that's it. That's the only new piece of paint application that I see. Lots of great molded details, the same details that was on the Kingdom version. Now, if you want to see a full review of this figure, I got the link to my Kingdom Core Class Megatron review right there. So, and as usual, or as with the mold, there's no wheels, so you just kind of push them along. So the turret does rotate all the way around. It does get a little stuck right there, but you do have that option. And of course it can go up and down. So there you have G2 Megatron in tank mode. So does a Transformers Legacy core class G2 Universe Megatron belong in your collection? Well, only if you're a hardcore Megatron or G2 fan. As I said, this figure is just a straight up repaint and I feel he just needs a little bit more. I just, I like the color scheme. I like his gaudy 90s look, but I just, I don't know. He just needs something else. He needed to be more than just a flat out repaint. But still, it's a fun figure and a pretty cool Megatron to have on the shelf with your other G2 versions. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do have a super thanks button now, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!